Hello and welcome to the Weekly Bowl, the news show that tells you everything you need to know to be a well-informed student and American in under five minutes. I'm Michael Sheets. And I'm Carly Hoyleman. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Planning to fly away for Thanksgiving or Christmas break and looking for a deal? The Wall Street Journal took a new look last week at the best times to buy airfare. Conventional wisdom considers Tuesday to be the best day for finding low fares. But examinations of ticket sales show Sunday and occasionally Saturday to be the new winner. A study of the last two years of airfare by the Airlines Reporting Corporation reveals that Sundays are, on average, $60 or more cheaper than Tuesdays. Furthermore, the cheapest time to buy a domestic flight is 57 days, or about two months, ahead of time and cuts off an average of $95 per ticket. On Saturday, October 18th, thousands of Greek Orthodox parishioners and clergy gathered for the groundbreaking ceremony of the new St. Nicholas Church. The church, once home to a congregation of more than 70 families, was the only religious building destroyed during the September 11th attacks in 2001. After years of negotiating with city officials, including a four-year struggle with the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, the ceremony served as a sign of progress for the St. Nicholas community. During the event, church officials followed the Old Testament guidelines for laying the cornerstone of a church. The ceremony included scripture readings, hymns honoring St. Nicholas, and prayers for the families of those killed during the attacks. The new St. Nicholas Church is scheduled to open in 2016. For more information about the inspiring project, check out the article by city editor Madison Isler on EmpireStateTribune.com. Bill de Blasio may not support Central Park horse rides, but he fully endorses celebrating Halloween. For the first time in 12 years, Gracie Mansion, the Governor's Palace, will be open on October 28th for the holiday. Children 12 and under, accompanied by an adult, are invited to take a spooky walk through the 200-year-old house. Less health conscious than Bloomberg, his soda fighting predecessor, de Blasio will be giving out candy to trick or treaters afterward. Both de Blasio and his wife will also dress up for the festivities. While we don't know what he'll wear, there is speculation he will don the pirate costume he wore earlier this year for a summer parade in Coney Island, an outfit which he reportedly said is his go to for Halloween. Unfortunately, registration is closed for the event. It filled up just hours after the celebration was announced via Twitter. In exchange for the party and free treats, participants are asked to bring non-perishable food items for the Gracie Mansion's food drive. This past Friday night marked the King's annual basketball competition. In the men's division, basketball captains Tyler Hensley and Jeremy Gill led the House of Reagan into the dethronement of the two-time defending champions from the House of Lewis. Not to be outdone, the women's final pitted the House of Queen Elizabeth I versus the House of Ten Boom in a thriller in which QE won in triple overtime. You've seen the posts on Facebook and you've certainly seen the calendars. This week begins the TKC men's and women's basketball seasons. After weeks of preparation, the women's team begins the season October 8th at 1130, while the men's team begins its season in Tennessee this Friday. In an exclusive interview with men's co-captain Tyler Hinsley, Hinsley said, This year, the team has a new mentality. We are a family. We are dedicated to each other 100% on the court and how we play, and we are dedicated to each other 100% off the court and how we relate as students and young men and women. And at the end of the day, we have to remind each other of the real motivation. We do it for the calendar. This week in announcements, on November 4th at 7 p.m., Brian Stewart will be hosting an informal night of poetry slam and recitation in the Slazit. On Friday at noon in the City Room, the Phillips Journalism Institute welcomes Nigerian journalist and Guardian Chief Executive Officer Amiki Aziz. He will speak about the Muslim group Boko Haram, who has terrorized Nigerians and kidnapped hundreds of young girls as slaves. Coming up November 14th at noon, part two of a series of workshops hosted by Career Development will take place on the topic of discerning God's call for your postgraduate decisions. And now for your top five OATKC posts of the week. Overheard arriving at the homecoming game. Which court is it? Wait, there's people praying. Let's go there. I was Googling on her phone and the recent web searches came up and the most recent one was, what does smoking weed look like? In reference to con law, you know what? I'm done. That's it. Tell my mother I love her. I'm buying a feather boa, moving to Reno and changing my name. Student, in regards to the fundraiser dress-down reward, 
It's amazing what you can do with the honor code after you throw money at it. The King's Admirers page is the baby of thirsty freshmen tired of studying for their philosophy midterm. Those are the headlines. Remember to follow the Empire State Tribune on Facebook and Twitter for more top stories. Signing off, I'm Carly Hoyleman. And I'm Michael Sheets. Thanks, Thanks for, for bearing, bearing the bowl. That's inappropriate.